Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them, otherwise you have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not be like the hypocrites who stand in the streets and in the synagogues that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say unto you, they have their reward. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who stand in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say unto you, they have their reward. And when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions like the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, Neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. And when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear to men to be fasting. But when you fast, wash your face and anoint your head, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. Therefore, if the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, or what you will wear. For your heavenly Father knows that you need these things. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. For they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into bonds. Yet your heavenly Father knows that they need all these things. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to a stature? So then why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field and how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect.